Hi, I'm Mark at the Caravan Place and today we're looking at the Thetford N175. Uh, we've got an issue with the fridge working on gas and basically what is happening is we'll put the gas on, it will light up, we can actually hear the igniter igniting, we can hear it ticking. Um, we can then hear the gas light up so we can hear the flame start to burn but then what happens is the igniter still carries on so it carries on ticking away and then after a few seconds we get a little fault come up on the control panel um, that then it's just basically when we look at what that fault code is it's saying that the ignition is at fault so we'll put the fridge on um, it will come up onto the gas we'll hear it start ticking and then eventually we'll get a fault code come up and you'll actually hear the flame burning but the igniter is still ticking so what we will do is just before it comes back into a fault code as it was just about to um, we'll nip outside we'll take the the vent off and we'll have a look how to fix this so you'll have a vent on the outside such as this one uh, once we clip that one off and remove it you'll find that we've got we've actually already started to strip this one down to have a look at it um, we've got a little cover on and I've normally got a couple of screws in so we've removed the screws and then we can actually get into the burner now nine times out of ten um, on this fridge it's just set up um, because the igniter and well the igniter acts as the igniter and the thermocoupler so it does two jobs and it sends two signals majority of the time the gap that we've got between the burner which is the bottom piece along there and the igniter which is the one with the white bit there the setup is just wrong um, there should be about 10 mil gap and usually the igniter is obviously usually the igniter has either moved um, or it's just not in the correct position um, it's difficult to try and sort of see in there but if you were to put a little torch in um, and just have a look at where the position is and sometimes actually lighting it up and standing then outside to see where the igniter is in relation to the flame will give you an idea of whether this could be the issue or not the other thing is, is if there's any dirt or debris or anything on the on the end of the little igniter um, just a bit of a clean but you do have to be careful with the um, with the igniter because they will break very easily so it's just trying to get it so that um, it will spark and um, make sure it's not hot um, so I'm just going to poke it downward slightly and actually push it just in to the flame a little bit further um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop the fridge on now and then we'll have a look what happens so I've now turned the fridge on inside and it should now start going through its motions so that's lit up and again if it carries on ticking it might just be that we just need to adjust it slightly as it is uh, we've got that fairly close um, and again you can actually see just the end of the igniter there it's, it's nicely into the flame now so uh, that's working correctly it stopped ticking so it looks like on this occasion we've managed to fix the issue uh, again don't get if you're not gas qualified um, do not get touching anything with the gas etc that's quite an easy one that once it's turned off and everything's isolated so you've got no power going through to anything um, you can just remove that cover if you've um, got experience or you know roughly what to do um, and then just try and set that back up to as I say about 10 mil um, just make sure it's nicely into the flame and probably five times out of ten that will sort the issue on the Thetford N175 fridges. Thanks, I'm Mark at the Caravan Place.